Hello everyone, it's been a while, back with another video, now a lot has changed. Of course, last video we got the airship, in this one we got some really cool things going on. Quick and simple, we always have the loot, the mystery, in the beginning of every episode now, it is just a need. Now, we also have a brand new wand, with some cool new abilities. Here's my buddy the lightning wraith. And my wand does more damage when it comes to electricity. We'll look more on that later in the fight. I mean, what? Anyways, we also have this built. Should have built this since day one, but you know, better now than never. And it is the player launcher. It will basically shoot me up in the air in a really far distance. And it also gives you the slime effect. So you, instead of taking fall damage, you will bounce like a little slime. And that's kind of fun. Too bad though, I seem to have lost the effect of my many jumps. Which probably comes into the fact that I don't have the correct item anymore I had before. Which gave me multi jump, which was not a part of my agility cape. So that's a real shame, but it's fine. We still have all this greatness. There's some more things we'll build later on. And we still have the elytra to look forward to. So I could not control it worth my life of where I was going, so we're going to skip to the point where I get to the loot. Of course, I open up what I find in dungeons. We had three epic crates this time, which this pickaxe I got is going to be the best pickaxe ever. It is insanely fast. It breaks things at breakneck speed. It is ridiculous. The rest though, really isn't noteworthy, nothing special or cool as usual, and I don't understand the upgrade modules for them either. Now, we're going to get to the somewhat scary ones. Always opening these, two at a time. I don't even know how I find them. They usually appear in a chest for a special boss. Or, it could just appear on the ground, which you can actually pick up with Silk Touch. But it's a special kind that actually picks up chance cubes. And every time this wither spawns, I keep thinking something may happen, but it doesn't. And then we got these amazing boots, which I am taking them off getting the super good stuff on and I'm gonna put it onto my armor because that is 10 that is insane now we open the regular chance cubes which these weren't even that bad we got a book as the first one I don't know who they were referencing I'm guessing it's a member of the team but I can't really relate I wonder if y'all can that'd be cool but I don't think I can so there's the book the second thing we got is another star free of charge, or I mean the North Star, but you know, to each their own. The third one now spawned a whole bunch of our friends, which give me an excuse to spawn in my spectral army, which looks just amazing. They look so sick. And I guess there were so many entities that summoned at once that it made my game a little broken there. It had a little lag spike, but in the end, our illuminated spectral army wins. They're really cool. We got a bunch of random trash, nothing noteworthy, so we keep going. Which this one, I didn't know what it was. Nothing spawned, I kind of thought it was the XP, but I think that was already there. And we have so much, it wouldn't have made a difference. Here comes the terrifying ones. And oh boy, was it something. So first, we get about four beacons. That is four beacons. Fully powered. Look at all this. I would have mined it up for its resources, but I am so fine with this. I can stack speed and haste and just keep upgrading these beacons. Can, do you see how many nether stars this would have costed? And I got it for free, basically. And you know I ain't destroying it, so I had to move away. I was not going to ruin this arena anymore, so I go to the other side. Second one almost tried to suffocate me, so clearly it's gonna be good. I had to clean a little mess because these little angry dudes be a little too much, especially spawning his fish friends. Very annoying. Do not worry. Once we clean this up, we shall open the first, well, the second one. And this one apparently inverted 15,209 blocks, which, crazy enough, found me diamonds. Pretty easy diamonds too, and there was a lot. And my pickaxe with fortune just gave me even more. 
so that was cool but it was being a little laggy and stuff because it is inverting this whole chunk upside down all the blocks are just being transformed differently so that is interesting to say the least now what comes up next is a whole different thing now it is beyond interesting screw inverting some blocks and all the obsidian and of course even the wither spawning in the cool I guess the boots but this is just it takes the cake I keep trying to back up while breaking these blocks out of fear it doesn't usually work but you see that big old lag spike the ground starts forming and just spawns blocks now I didn't know what it was at the time and I'm gonna cut to it but basically we literally bring the Woodland Mansion to our humble home. We have everything here. And I don't even want to blow it up too. We get a whole mansion built for us. All these blocks are spawning as well as the inverted blocks. Which is why you see things a little broken. And it, the thing is, it even comes with the loot. It comes with every room. We have a whole mansion built for us. With no work. That is insane! And it's so big! Massive! So that kind of broke my game a bit, which had to have me hard reset. Had to get off my world, off the launcher, off the game entirely. Because I was not going to deal with that. Now that it's all fixed, we go to our final massive lucky block. The chance cube I mean. And it, eh, spawned a big ball of clay like it did with the bookshelves and sand. Not too interesting. The final one was not too interesting. Thanks to that, the sun started to rise. And it was time to go back home. Now, I really wanted to put some use into this launcher. I thought it would help me so much. But it just kept flinging me around. And it happened for like a good 2-3 minutes. So don't worry, I cut out most of it. I fling myself over my target. I fling myself around it. Player launcher really is fun. But it is not practical. This is beyond help. Alright. Now we're going to get to the meat of this video. First, we had to go back to the ender fight with the portal. We have to gather a bunch of endstone. As well as we're going to be getting some sand to tone the glass. Now, the reason we're doing all this is so we get tempered glass. It protects against explosions. And it, of course, blocks out light. But that's beyond what we're needing it for. It is immune to explosions, it says. So... I put two and two together, and we were going to make a small little box where the wither is trapped with me in this arena. It is the size of a dirt house you'd make when you first start a new world. And it takes a lot of glass, and it takes endstone. Now, the crafting recipe is self-explanatory. Endstone in the center, and glass around it. But, whenever we get to the fight, you'll see that it... I guess it didn't take into account that the wither is overpowered? Ay. No, we're just gonna get all the sand. And see, this pickaxe makes things so much easier. No one by one mining. Ay. Do not worry, I cut out all the finding of the coal, mining of the sand, getting more. We have a good bit, I think that's enough for a small block. So, I quickly set out and was going to start building my little home. For me and the wither, we're going to be together. And we're going to break up shortly after. A spectacular breakup, mind you.
Alright, it took a lot longer than I thought. I was just really dumb and confused. You don't need to make it two blocks thick because it only takes one block to take an explosion. And that's my thought process. And then also on top of that, didn't have soul sand. Quickly went to the nether to go get some. Not too tough, not too long. Don't worry, it was actually really annoying to find this soul sand even though it shouldn't have been. But we got what we needed and we're going to be heading right back. Going straight home to our little house and then to the Withers little cage where everything will seemingly go wrong. Though my armor did save me. It can indeed protect me. Thank the gods of Minecraft and also thank the durability because it gets insane. And I forgot that the weather could do half of the abilities it did. I can't believe I didn't die. I didn't plant any potions, golden apples, nothing. I was that confident. All right, and here it comes. Place the blocks down on the ground. And then we have the head. Once I made sure everything was loaded in. Because I just teleported to this new land. Right after, well, something was spawning. And here we go. This is the fight we've been waiting for. Now, I know the initial explosion is strong, but I have three sets of health bars. And what could it do? And there we go. It brought me down to a single health bar and losing health quickly. Though, look at that. I'm actually able to regen and tank the health. As well as not even get the wither effect. But I also didn't take the account that the wither might just fly in the air and get away from me. So, had to retreat because eating food instantly gives me a good health regen because this food is really good. As well as the saturation. I'm going to run around in circles, dodging the wither skeletons which are spawning, the wither flowers, the wither himself. He also spawned in like wither liquid, which is just weird. I don't want to know what that is. Summon me a couple of my minions to help fight off the wither skeletons as I start fighting the wither in the sky. To me, it's very hectic. As well as not knowing, you can actually deflect his heads into him. So that's really cool. Now, I thought I was screwed and wasn't going to be able to kill this man. Because he's in the air. But, luck be told, he comes down to me and just stays into my vicinity spinning around like an idiot. For three heads, he is really stupid. I know two heads are supposed to be better than one, but three apparently is too much. But there we go. He is dead. I am not. And to me, 
That was a pretty cool battle. Armies clashing? The main boss attacking you? I don't know. Seems pretty cool to me. We even collected some Supremium Essence. Which, do not worry. We will be getting into this Essence in all of its glory in a future video. As well as many, many other things. Sadly, to tell you the truth, we weren't even supposed to make the player launcher. It was supposed to be the rainbow cannon, which is the coolest thing in this mod pack to me. But too bad, this mod pack in particular doesn't have ways to charge it. It has batteries, it has charging stations, but as you can tell, I have made little to no automation because nothing here creates power. We have RF, we have GF. We have this random peak generator, which is not the correct RFF to charge up a cannon. So the, it made me very disappointed. Very upsetting that there's no way. And then the Embers mod is the most complex and convoluted mod to ever have power or to make any sort of thing ever. I know I'm going to have to learn it and make things with it. It can't even charge things I have. But you know, it's fine. Hopefully it'll all sort itself in the end. And also, do not worry, I did not forget. We will be having a Jerry army. I will bring him over to our house. And we'll have a little army. As always. Whew. Lot to do. Lot to take out. Not a lot of time. But, I did find this. Which I thought was cool because it came from the Twilight Forest. I know there's a thing called the Miner's Tree. But I guess this isn't what I thought it was. It was basic wood with a cool light that I just broke. And some shimmering leaves which you can't see thanks to the night. That was a disappointing end to an over otherwise pretty cool beginning. It's fine though. Do not worry. We have way more to do. And to keep it at a certain time frame is really hard. Plus, the future video that I want to do, it will be a hundred days in this mod pack. It's a long one. It'll definitely take time. But that seems like a special thing I want to do. Hundred days videos are really fun. And I watched them a lot. On top of the fact that I'll get different games on here as well. But it's just taking time. Thanks to the fact my computer can game, but not record. It is specifically for games. That is crazy. Anyways, we'll be starting the stream later down the road. We'll be doing tests today. Like and subscribe. Join me. And as always, have a good one. Peace out, fools.